All right, guys, well, I got another steam bending episode for you. Um, this time we're going to be uh, building the arch that's going to connect to that arch that I did last video. So uh, if you didn't see that last video, go watch that. I have some um, kind of lessons learned towards the end of that video. And I kind of go over some things um, at the beginning, you know, with my first um, foray into steam bending. So um, this episode was going to be my second attempt. So this is going to be another arch that's going to connect the corner post of my backyard to the arch that I already built kind of make more of a dome kind of shape. Um, so uh, that's what's um, going to be the plan this time. So I'm learning uh, some of the lessons that I learned uh, from the first go around. So uh, I'll show you uh, some of the frame, you know, that I'm reusing actually the same frame, but redoing it a little different. And so hopefully, um, you know, it goes a little bit better this time. So I'm not going to go into too much detail of the frame itself, but um, I'll show you some of the things I changed. And then we'll get started to just bending and clamping it down and then um, we'll go from there so hopefully this one works a little bit better results than the first go around um, so let's get going all right so here is the frame we're going to be using to uh, clamp the uh, the boards to this is basically half of the old frame in the last video and i've added a, a bunch more supports and uh, uh, little pieces of wood here to kind of strengthen it i added these wedges this time along the edge instead of those PVC pegs and then I added this plywood strip around and it's basically two layers of 3 8 plywood and it bent real easily around it and basically I just screwed it to these um, to these wedges and uh, it's not going anywhere it's a nice um, you know sturdy it's not doesn't bend or anything it was easy to make the bend but once you get two of them sandwiched together um, it's pretty stiff and so now this gives me a lot of stuff a lot of um, real estate to clamp to so hopefully that'll be better than the last time and so now I just gotta wait for this wood to, to finish steaming and then we'll be ready to apply it okay so here I'm gonna be clamping the first board to the frame and uh, get a nice big thick clamp to start off with to get it clamped to the end and then I'm just using these quick clamps to kind of draw it in as I go around. Um, these work really well to kind of cinch it down to the to the frame itself. They don't get quite a tight hold like a C-clamp would but it's a nice quick way to get it into shape and where you need it to go um, and then you can kind of make some adjustments later. So the eight foot lumber that I got was not quite long enough to make the full um, the full arch. So I had to put in a short piece here on the end and I kind of staggered this short piece on either end of the arch as I went uh, through and, and added new new pieces. So that way it's not gonna be all at one end. But um, it took me a little bit of a struggle here to kind of get that short piece set up and then the other one attached um, you know after it so took a few uh, tries with different clamps and things to get it on um, but was able to kind of get it cinched down and nice and even and then used um, various different clamps uh, these quick clamps were you know preferred but I didn't have a bunch of them so I um, just kind of used a combination um, but it was able to kind of draw this board in as well and um, and get it where I needed to go And the ends are pretty stubborn, so they don't like to get real cinched down really well. Um, so I had to use uh, several clamps to get that, the very end of the board to be attached. 
Um, and so I was using a combination of those quick clamps and C clamps on the very ends. And, and that really did it really well. And then later on, you'll see I used some screws to hold it in um, as I was kind of building out the, the arch. So that worked out well. So really a lot of this construction was rinse and repeat for each of the new boards that I was putting on. Um, used a combination of those quick clamps and uh, screw clamps. Um, you did have to watch that um, as it was being bent, sometimes it would want to kind of twist on you, kind of bend under or bend up. Um, not really in plane with the others, so you had to really watch that and kind of um, make some adjustments as you went. Um, you know, ended up getting a few clamps on and just kind of take the clamps ahead of it off and get, you know, and reattach um, new ones down the line. So was, I wasn't having a lot of the clamps removed at one time. So just kind of marched my way down um, the, the arch as uh, was able to, to remove clamps and add new ones. You can see here as I'm getting this one started, um, the the plywood on the very end, kind of the very end in general, was hard to get started. Um, but once that was secured, then it was you know going around the arch was pretty simple. Um, but I really needed here in the beginning maybe another support piece that plywood. Um, as I was getting more and more uh, one by fours to bend, that plywood was wanting to bend a lot more and um, didn't have a whole lot of pulling power against it. So. Um, I was able to get it work out, but it really another um, another support maybe beyond the edge of the the arch would have really helped uh, to kind of pull things up and and make it nice and tight. But um, I was able to get it to work out, but that you know that would have been better. I used ex exterior three inch screws to attach the, the boards together. Um, that was really the only way. I didn't glue them this time, but I ended up just screwing them together. And then here on the ends, all I did was um, use a reciprocating saw to kind of cut them off uh, level. So um, nice and easy, sanding them down a little bit after that. And here I was worried about some of the spring back that would occur once I removed all the clamps, but it wasn't too bad. Um, it did spring back several inches. Um, uh, but it was enough that I was able to kind of pull it into place when we got it installed. Yeah, I think it goes back. 
me pick it up over it. I'm not gonna fall and kill myself. I'm going to push it out. So yeah, it you can do that. Yeah. Not that. Yeah, there you go. Like that. Okay, you got it. Just hold it. Just yeah. hold it for now. I'm going to go around and screw the back. All right, so there we have the second arch complete. It's connected to the first one that we did a couple weeks ago. And um, it's basically done, at least for the steam bending part of it. Um, that went really well. I like that, um, you know, plywood frame to, uh, to clamp everything to, made for a nice smooth arch. And um, I actually got no splits this time. You can see in the other one, I ended up getting some splits and, um, you know, didn't turn out as as well as the second go around. You know, that's kind of obvious for a lot of projects. So now I got to put some wire. I'm going to put some wire kind of like like around maybe two rows of it, and that way it gives something for the wisteria to grab onto, make it more of a dome shape. But that's basically it. I'm going to stain it to match, put some clear coat on it, and be done. But I appreciate you guys sticking around for this video, and hopefully this will help you out in your steam bending project. Now that you have two videos to watch. And um, uh, good luck on yours. Appreciate it.